You know, Dave, I've got a feeling about you. A good feeling. Call it a hunch. I think things are gonna go very well for you. Welcome to the sushi business. Dave, let's meet our crew. This is Boncho. He's a chef, I think. Uh, he doesn't have any prior references or employment history. I don't even think that's his real name, to be honest. But uh, he did bring his own knives. You know what? Maybe just give him some space. Why don't you go out there and get me some fish? Unfortunately, we do not carry the antidote for sea urchin venom here. We're having some kind of delivery problem. Why don't you go ahead and slap a band-aid on that? This is Duff, our equipment and weapon man. I wouldn't shake his hand if I were you. He's usually sticky. You know, Dave, you've taught me a few things since you've come here. I thought using a fire harpoon underwater to ignite the fish was a stupid idea, but lo and behold, it seems to work just fine. Electric weapons underwater? That just sounds like a terrible thing for everyone involved, but you proved me wrong, Dave. Maybe fat people are naturally insulated? So you found this soy sauce in a trunk underneath the sea and you want me to use it in my restaurant? Well, actually, I have been trying to get costs down. All right, yeah, yeah, just let's keep this between ourselves, okay? Look, I know Boncho is a little intimidating. Just leave him alone, okay? I'm not gonna come down on a guy who's that good with a knife. Look at him, Dave. Look at his eyes. He's killed people, okay? He'll do it again. Mermaids, Dave. Mermaids? Really? Mer, mer people? Mer, I don't know what the correct nomenclature is. Look, Dave, I'm not gonna say I don't believe you. I'm just gonna say it's a little coincidental that you start seeing mermaids right at the same time we started serving alcohol here. Time for your performance review, Dave. So, you did real good killing the giant squid, but sometimes you are a little slow clearing the tables. I like that you took on that group of pirates for us, and you did great job taking on that trained mercenary, but uh, you did spill tea on that woman last week. All in all, let's just say your average performance, so no raise for you this time. Oh, ho, ho, wow, that saw shark really did a number on you, didn't he? I have to remind you, you do not have health insurance here. That's for full-time employees only. Yes, I know you're a diver, fisherman, restaurant server, enforcer for us, but that's technically four part-time positions, so sorry about that. But, you know, we do still have that first aid kit in the back, so you go ahead and use as many band-aids as you need to patch that hole in your torso. There's a guy who collects cards who comes around now and then. You met him yet? Ash Ketchum looking dude? Of course, the only thing that guy is catching is his breath after going up a flight of stairs. Where's your paycheck? <laughs> yeah, that's a question, all right. It sure is. I've got a few questions myself. How exactly does that knife of yours carve chunks of rock off of an ore vein but barely put a dent in a goldfish? Also, for that matter, how does a diver who can spend hours underwater with a hundred pounds of fish on his back get winded carrying an entree across the dining room? Those are the questions I'm interested in. Overburdened, huh? Carrying too much weight? Honestly, Dave, I thought you'd be used to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we'll get you some upgrades. Ooh, that is a nice gun. You got that from Duff? Yeah, I really hope you wiped that down before you used it. That's, that's how you get a rash. All right, Dave, you did great work killing that truck crab and that punch shrimp, but now I need you to take on something that's not as hilarious. This great white jerk has been eating my profits for months. He has teeth that can bite through solid steel, and also he really abuses contact damage. It's super annoying. Good luck, Dave. You're gonna need it. All right, excellent. It just goes to show you, all things are possible with a little bit of courage and an upgraded sniper rifle. I'm really impressed, Dave. That thing killed the last four divers I sent down there, and I- What's that you say? You're quitting. Unsafe work conditions, abusive boss, you're gonna tell the world what goes on here? I'm going to answer for my crimes? Well, Dave, I have to say I'm very sorry to hear that. But I'm sure you do want your last paycheck before you leave, right? It's, uh, in the back. Boncho has it. Why don't you go and ask him, and he'll let you have it. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. 
Tomorrow morning, find me a new Dave.